Today on the channel from Mattel Elite Series 97, we've got the return of Sheamus. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Elite Series 97 unboxing and review and today at the table we've got Sheamus but remember for all your WWE and AEW wrestling figure needs make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% yes got to get a deal all day long and of course we're gonna do this unboxing and review like we do all the other unboxing and reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what Sheamus is up to here. Got the brand new packaging for 2023 with the smaller WWE logo. Got Sheamus' little glamour shot there. Got his name, of course, Elite Logo, Series 97. On the side, there's all the masked Avenger Sheamus right there. Uh, it's always tough when you break your nose. Then you end up being like, uh, who was that, Kurt Rambis? Didn't he used to wear one of those all the time? Or maybe it was James Worthy. It was one of those Lakers. They used to wear the protective goggles and all that kind of stuff back in the day. Uh, something like that, but you got Sheamus right there looking good. Elite logo, true effects, certified authentic, Mattel Elite, and of course Sheamus on this side. And in the back, we got the tail of the tape, we got the blur, we got the cross sell. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, we're going to unbox all these. But then of course, at the end of the week, we're going to rank this entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. So stay tuned for that. So let's see what it says about our old friend on the back here. Let's see what it says about old Sheamus. From Dublin, Ireland, rainy today. I checked the weather before I got here. Height six foot three, weight 250 pounds, finishing move, the old bro kick. Uh, and let's see, career highlights, WWE champion, world heavyweight champion, United States champion. I believe, didn't he win the tag title somewhere along the line as well? I believe he just has not won the Intercontinental title. So hopefully he gets that before his career is through. I'm sure that'll happen. I feel like he was the Intercontinental champion, but I don't think he was. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. And then it says, even if he has to wear a protective mask, every night is fight night for the Celtic Warrior. So good for him. Good for him. He loves to fight. As we know, we just saw, uh, what was it, Clash at the Castle not too long ago, a week, two weeks ago. What is time anymore? But we saw him take on my boy Walter, or Gunther, but Walter to me. Uh, and it was quite the match. That was the match of the night for me. You guys know I'm a big Gunther guy. So I was happy to see that match. Uh, I thought that was really good. I thought it was the best match of the night. So there you go. And see you later. Goodbye. And we get old Sheamus there. There he is. Looking prim and proper is what he looks like there. Uh, let's pop him out here. Pop him out here. You got two hands. Got to have some hands. Uh-oh. We got some locked in. We're locked in down at the feet with Sheamus. Got to uncork him. And hopefully we're off to the races now. Let's see. There it is. I want to knock everything off. Come on. Uh-oh. We lost. Oh, what are we doing? We're taped in on the robe. Don't like that. Don't like to be taped in on the robe. It always takes some fibers with it. And then his bowler hat's up top. See you later. It was stuck in there as well. So we got a lot going on with Sheamus here. Let's get him all lined up. And Sheamus is always an interesting one in figure form. Uh, we went through a while where it seemed like we were getting a lot of Sheamuses, then a long drought of Sheamuses. But he's a tough guy to make look different. And we'll compare him to another Sheamus. Uh, but he's had a few figures. Of course, that Cesaro two-pack, or not two-pack, but the set there where you had kind of the tuxedo going on, that was different. We got King Sheamus, of course. Uh, we got the regular Sheamuses. Uh, we've got quite a few and a little bit different, but they all feel the exact same, which is really weird, even though they have different stuff going on to them. I guess at the end of the day, they are truly Sheamus. So uh, we do get two fists on Sheamus. Man, he's ready to fight, just like the package said. We also get uh, regular holding hands here, Mike holding hands, C hands, whatever you want to call them. We got those. So you choose your own hand adventure. I'm keeping the fists on him. He's going to throw down at a moment's notice for me. Uh, and then we get Sheamus. And we do get his bowler hat, top hat. I believe first time in the line for this hat. Very cool accessory. I could see getting some use out of this. Maybe some other characters as well. But it is a bowler hat. It looks like something a big bully music would have way back in the day. So you customizers, you can always put that with him. Uh, but this Sheamus is an interesting, interesting figure. I do like the soft goods robe. I always love soft goods to the Polly Pocket. Uh, looks really good here, brown. Uh, looks a little bit like a bathrobe, kind of looks that way. But you got the nice black uh, collar and the black on the um, hands down here around the forearms. Looks really, really good as far as this goes. So I like what they did there. I like the attention to detail. I like that we got this. 
Uh, I'm kind of surprised we never got the taped fist, wife beaten, wearing Sheamus as a figure. I guess that just wasn't around long enough. Uh, this kind of what this is, but kind of not at the same time. This is more of a current Sheamus, it feels like, outside of the mask, of course. Uh, but it does look pretty good. I'm interested to see, does this mask come off? We know the heads are removable here. I think you could get this mask off. Boy, this mask is made out of kind of that same material uh, the Undertaker strap down ringside collectible exclusive was. Uh, so it does have a lot of movement to it. I will be able to take this off, it looks like. So we'll try to do that for some of the glamour shots. Uh, but it is interesting. It feels like it might not go on as good. Once you take it off, it might not go on as good. So that might be a, a watch out on that one there. But let's take this uh, robe off of old Seamus here. Let's see what's doing. Let's see what's doing underneath his robe. Let's get down to it. Uh, I should have took the hands off first. That is always the best way. That's the pro tip way. Uh, but like I said, a very good robe. Once again, first time of the line. I'm here for that. Then we get Seamus here, and this just feels kind of like your paint-by-number Seamus in a lot of ways, especially if you took the head off. Uh, but it is Seamus' white body. Of course, you know, he never sees the sun. Uh, he's always covered up. He never he lives quite the life without getting that sun on him. Uh, but it does look good, of course, articulation-wise. Your arms go all the way around, uh, side to side. you got a bicep cut, of course. Double-jointed, pinless elbows. You know I love that. You got the black forearm guard with uh, the little Celtic cross going on there. And then you got two fists of fury that go side to side and are removable. You do got a nice ab crunch. You got waist articulation. He can do a decent split. He's got a thigh cut, double jointed knees, of course, a boot cut, and then ankles back and forth. So that's his articulation here. The mask, like I said, is a very soft, movable, pliable plastic. Uh, it does hide his face. He's got the big old beard going on. Definitely looks like Seamus. I don't think anybody would be confused if you handed them just this head or this body without a head and say, who does this go to? I feel like everybody would know this as Seamus. Uh, so good for him on that aspect. He does got knee pads going on with the familiar uh, Seamus uh, graphics all over. Same with the boots, same on the trunks. It's your Seamus paint by numbers is kind of how it feels in a lot of ways. But a good looking figure and it's been a while since we've had a Seamus. So I think this will sell all right. We'll grab a ringside stand. Does he fit on it? He should. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%, as I always say. And bam, he's off to the races right there. But this is a good Seamus. I think it'll sell okay because, like I said, it's been a while. I think he's back on the upswing a little bit. He's kind of just kind of been there. One of those guys a lot of people do take for granted because he's almost always around. Uh, but he's doing some big things. He's got his crew now with Ridge and Butch, Pete Dunne. Uh, so we're going to see where that ends up taking him and see if he can get that Intercontinental title maybe. Uh, we'll see if that happens. But here's a Seamus I grabbed. I said, what Seamus should I grab? And I was looking at him, and I wanted to grab this one because I think this is a very much underrated Seamus figure from the last couple of years. Uh, the mohawk always looks really cool. And then he's got all the jewelry hanging off his beard. Quite the look for Seamus, trying to change it up. But at the end of the day, it's still Seamus for good or bad. But I thought we'd do at least one Seamus comparison along the way here. But a very good figure. Surprising. Could very well be a sleeper in this set for a lot of people. I think it will be for me. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You all in on this Seamus or all out? Playing the long game? Still thinking about it? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video. You made it this far. You might as well. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some, as you guys know. And then don't forget about the Patreon. Link in the description below for early early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaways, and best of all, you do support the channel over there at the Patreon. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, and then of course, don't forget to follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the mighty Seamus, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.